HB2, North Carolina's law forbidding transgender people from using public restrooms that comport with their gender identity, puts trans people in an impossible double bind and infringes on their autonomous decisions over medical treatment. Although Governor Pat McCrory claims that trans people who have undergone a sex change, his term, will be able to change their birth certificate and therefore use the public bathroom corresponding with their gender identity, transgender people will in fact be impeded from having surgery and will therefore be barred from accessing bathrooms consistent with their gender identity. How so? HB2 conditions entrance to a multi-occupancy single-sex public restroom on sex as stated on a person's birth certificate. A separate North Carolina law provides that the gender marker on a birth certificate can only be modified if an individual has undergone what North Carolina labels sex reassignment surgery. The increasingly preferred term is gender confirmation surgery. But under the prevailing medical recommendations, a person only qualifies for certain surgeries if they have lived consistently for 12 months in the gender role that conforms with their gender identity. That often includes using the restroom corresponding with one's gender identity. Therefore, HB2 interferes with the medical requirements for obtaining surgery in the first instance. Let me spell that out in more detail. According to the standards of care developed by the World Professional Association for Transgender Health, it is recommended that adult individuals needing metoideoplasty or phalloplasty, procedures to create a penis, or a vaginoplasty, a procedure to create a vagina, live for 12 continuous months in a gender role that is congruent with their gender identity before obtaining those surgeries.
Okay.